He's safe now. Um, hello, Fun Day Warpet crew and watchers. Yeah. Hello. Well, I'm Dante the Jedi, and these are my ideas for chocolate rabbit death. Doesn't that bunny just creep you the hell out? Anyway. Better the camera off. Hey, hey! I thought I, I thought I smashed you. I, 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 and you? How? What? Da! 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 A surprisingly strong but things made out of chocolate. Da! Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special uh, live stream in memory of our good friend, Dante the Jedi, who passed away uh, late July. And um, I don't want to keep this uh, too, too down, so we're just, just going to move right on with uh, introducing our panel of experts today. Uh, N.W. Stryker, why don't you introduce the rest of our panel? In this corner, joining us with the McDonald's coffee and this 511 standard issue hat, we've got World Gone Ari! Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> and in the other corner, joining us from far, far away, probably the next district over, Techless! <laughs> I'll be representing the blue headphones today. <laughs> All right, you guys are wearing the same headset, but different colors. No, I'm wearing the red headset. America. <laughs> America. Uh, yeah, and I'm, of course, Envy Striker, joining uh, Mumph on our memorial journey of awesomeness. Is that what we're calling this? I'm going to call it that. Yeah, um, I just want to... It's been a long time since we streamed, and I just want to play some of the games that, that Dante the Jedi had either wished I had played or, or made himself or it just had some kind of impact uh, on our live, uh, on my live uh, specifically, and hopefully yours as well. Um, I want to start with Doom, Doom 2016, which is a game that um, Dante the Jedi definitely strongly recommended to me multiple times, and yet somehow I failed to um, actually play. I'm sure, though, that everybody else with us today has played this game. Um, World Gone Awry, you played this game, I imagine, right? Oh, extensively, yes. Yes, I've mastered it. I've uh, got about 75% of the achievements. All the secrets so. on right. Night so, Nightmare. So, so, of course, he'll be the one who will be guiding us through this experience today <laughs> uh, yes. in, in perfect expert um, precision. Uh, no deaths, actually. I'm expecting flawless <laughs> accuracy right now. <laughs> uh, Teclas, do you want to... Um, Tell us your experience with, with Doom 2016. I've seen the the demo trailer gameplay that came out, I think, at one of the E3s. I don't know, it's probably 15 minutes of gameplay. I like thought the prerequisite I thought the prerequisite for joining us on the panel was that you had to at least beat the game on Nightmare. I, I don't even know what the ranges of difficulty are. I've heard I hell every nightmare. nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'll take normal. Is it the same uh, difficulty rankings as Diablo? Is it just like a general hell? Uh, type, uh, there's something along setting, those lines. Uh, difficulty. Like, so, uh, I just want to point out, uh, we are just trying to get Doom set up here. Um, we're going to, uh, make sure that our capture rig can capture it, and that it appears on the correct screen. Uh, Doom is currently not showing. We are working on that. Uh, Doom had to, like, it had to, like, build some textures or something. It was, it was loading for quite some time there. 
And then it started on the wrong monitor. But that's fine, because I'm sure Doom is one of these games that allows you to... Record friendly? Um, change what monitor it displays. Oh, it does. It totally does. Awesome. I was going to shit talk it real bad if it didn't. <laughs> um, but I was confident that it would go to the right monitor. Hey, we've got video over here. Yes, you have video. We have the, video uh, now. Doom Eternal trailer? No, I have not yet. Did you? It's glorious. It's glorious, yes. And now for the final step of adding the, the capture to the Demons in Hell drink those tears. All right. And <laughs> transition and Doom. Mortally challenged my ass. Uh, where all the controller drape beside you? Oh, it's right beside me. Yeah, we need to test, I think. Jesus, we have not tested the controller. Xbox, we uh, we are so uh, no, that's unorganized a, today. A Xbox One, I think. Is what which it is. is in tradition. So controller at least works somewhat. Uh, World, are you doing, are you moving it or is that mom? Oh, I'm moving it. I am not moving that. Okay. So. Is there a lag between the... Nope. Not no, really. no, okay. Wow. That's so, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> I believe there is one more. There is one more. I think, I think it's called Hell, dude. Yeah, I, th yeah, I you, think you, you have, have to, to beat, you have the, to beat game. the game first. Yeah. Uh, uh, now, this is my file. This is my file, uh, which I've never actually played this game. Um, but again, World, who the, is, an, who is clearly an expert, none, um, will... <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. All right. I guess Hell would I like it. I like okay, it. So, uh, okay, so I'm genuinely going to make some predictions about how I think World's going to respond to this game. So, what, what do you mean? What do you mean by respond to this game? Like, as in, like, like playing it for the first time? That, yeah, that doesn't, as in sound, like, that doesn't sound like how we've described as, his as experience like, <laughs> up until now. I mean, hypothetically, if World will be playing hypothetically, this game, assuming I had never played it before once for a second in my life, you baffled me. Man. Hypothetically, hypothetically, I would predict that uh, World, you would enjoy the gameplay of this game. I don't think you're going to be impressed with. It, in terms of comparing it to uh, previous Dooms, where there is a horror and jump scare, perhaps there is. This is Doom. This is a sequel to Doom One and Two, not so a sequel two. to Doom Three. Oh, it, it is nightmare for Doom. Read, okay. read the alternate nightmare. Read the, read the alternate. For the nightmare. expert player, combat is a knife edge. One mistake can be the difference between living and a gruesome death. There are no tutorials. This nightmare, with one major adjustment, if you die, oh you can uh, the over. And it Death mark will be left behind as a reminder of how far you progressed. Oh yeah, isn't that ridiculous? Oh, what? It's 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 a it's a roguelike. Yeah, it's a roguelike. Yeah. Huh. Oh. That's fucked, hey. I would cry. It would be headphone smashing there. Oh yeah. Know all about that. <laughs> uh, can you uh, can can you guys on the shared microphone out there remind me which of the bl of the cable what oh, cable color I started. is? We are uh, not blue. We are non blue. Okay. Well, what difficulty are you on? Uh, uh, Ultra violence. Ultra violence. Okay. Um, so, yeah, well, I think you're going to like the action in this game. Oh, I, Iron Man, yes, Iron Man. Don't hold your hopes that. high for any kind of, hor like, true, like, atmosphere horror, I think. Like, there'll be a little bit of that. No, no, it's all run and gun, right? I mean... Let, let, let... I'm going to let the game speak for yeah, most of itself. Yeah, let the game speak. Uh, I think you'll be happy to find a particular they voice actor returning. Rage. Brutal. Without mercy. Did we turn subtitles on? Uh, I think they're on by default. Oh, great. Rip and tear until it is done. Uh, the chat has questioned your choice about no crosshair. Well then, I guess we're going to see who's who. Um, I'm also looking for feedback from the chat about audio levels, making sure we all sound good, and that the game sounds good, and that we're not... Too loud versus the game, and vice versa, that kind of stuff. I hope ammo's not a problem. <laughs> First shot was a hit, so... Wait, did you also, like, turn off the HUD and stuff? Or is there just no HUD yet? I don't know. Let's, I'll just let the game speak for itself. Seems to not be struggling with the crosshairs. Well, this looks more like a kind of a, a standard kind of Sunday morning for you, hey? Wake up. Zombies walking through the kitchen. Move fast in this game. Airlock and stuff. A little, little bit of CQ. A little bit of CQC. Are we looking for like Blood Dragon fourth wall breaking in this game? Or? Uh, not, not, not Blood Dragon level, but they're aware. A <laughs> little bit of CQC. <laughs> Give me. Oh shit. 
A little bit of Eden Prime Mass Effect reference here, I think. Mm. Sovereign's coming. I am Sovereign. I am Sovereign. Wait, so you put on this, like, while that was happening, you were putting on the suit? Yes. It's nice. Efficient that's that's what you, that, I mean, when I put on a suit, I can sometimes think of other things as well, so it can... I'm more, I'm usually more concerned like about making sure my super is up. I like that, like, added in as a possibility to the, to the system. It's like, oh, this is uh, instance uh, 126B, uh, demonic evasion. Like, <laughs> We're going to go ahead and clear your cookies. <laughs> we'll start with that. Scenario 6, uh, apparently. <laughs> what, is, what, is the, what does the, bo the binder say about Scenario 6? <laughs> I don't know. It says kill all the demons. Yeah. Kill all the demons. Kill the demons. And, uh, and uh, John, don't become the demon. <laughs> Welcome. But then we were the demons. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. You recognize the voice? Yes, I do. Of course you do. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. <laughs> Doom guy is not having any of that shit. That's the uh, Admiral from Mass Effect, right? Yes, Admiral Hackett, I believe. Yeah, Admiral Hackett. Glory kill. He's just letting everybody else read, so that... Of course, yeah. It's just, <laughs> it's just for people to catch up, yeah. Uh, if you press the back button, it's uh, it always gives you a little quick thing you could read if you're interested for that kind of shit. Every like time lore? you lore? Every, yeah, every time you encounter a new enemy, it'll give you a little bit of lore. Fuck. I pick this shit up. Uh, you're at max health. Of course you are, right? I mean, you knew that already. I think you have to glory kill these guys. It's just like a tutorial bit. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, so I'm going to take this opportunity to um, talk about one of one of uh, a topic of discussion that me and Dante the Jedi discussed quite a bit, which is a game called Fez. Yeah. We had um, some disagreements about about Fez, uh, not about the quality of its game, but whether or not that he should ever play it. Because Dante the Jedi, if there's one thing I can remember about like developers that he was for or against, he did not like Phil Fish. Uh, I have my own feelings about Phil Fish, but I think regardless, Fez is a fantastic product, and he should have played that game. So, what was his quarrel with Phil Fish? Uh, I don't want to. I really don't want to get into that here. Okay. It, Phil Fish is a bit of an asshole. He can be a bit abrasive. He's. I mean, he's a French Canadian. Oh, so, there we go. There we go. So <laughs> it's kind of. But I. So I, I can relate a little bit. I'm not French, but I'm Canadian, so I understand. Uh, the chat is agreeing with Goldfish. <laughs> um, however, again, I think the quality of the game that was made, especially because it wasn't made only by Philfish, it was made by uh, a small team of people. Uh, anyway, Don of the Jedi wouldn't wouldn't buy that game. He wouldn't he wouldn't play the game if I bought it for him. So I felt the only opportunity, the only thing I had left was any time that I asked and he would refuse, I would just buy another copy of the game and then give it away to somebody. So I want to keep that tradition going. So if anybody wants a copy of Fez, hit me up in the chat, send me a private message at, at HPAW, or email me at admin at hpaw.net. Somehow give me your contact information, give me an email address. I will buy you a copy of Fez. Free for copies of Fez, anybody. So World, when you, yeah, when you do those glory kills, they're more likely to draw. On Dante the Jedi's memory. Just remember, he didn't like Phil Fish. That's the thing. Uh, don't don't just put your email in the chat. Uh, that's not a great idea. Uh, that, Spam. Spam yeah. coming your way. Email, email me at admin, A-D-M-I-N, at hpaw, H-P-A-W, dot net, or direct message me in the chat. Fuck. Oh, sorry, I just realized I moved the mouse, and that is a bad idea, because that will affect world here. I cannot actually look at the chat. I mean, I can look at the chat, but I can't. How do I switch weapon? Uh, try the Y button. Fuck, no, I try to uh, D-pad, maybe? Yeah, fucking, I want to switch my fucking pistol, but uh, I can't figure out how to fucking do it. All the buttons, maybe? No? Uh, oh, what was it? It was a uh, right bumper. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, of course! Of course it was. Um... What the fuck? Oh, fuck. So, uh... Oh, you got your fire powers! Oh, never mind. Yeah. So yeah, when you glory kill enemies, uh, they're likely to drop those little health things. Okay, yeah, I gotta fucking deal with these guys faster, obviously. Cause... Uh, it plays, it plays a lot like Quake, hey? Quack? Yeah, yeah. I, I saw you kind of just zipping around, and like the movements are all very reminiscent of Quake. Um, yeah. Uh, we'll also be. I guess I should. I should point out that we'll also be giving away 
uh, free copies of uh, Astro Loco Worst Contact. Um, although I, I realize that maybe with, with Murray in the chat here, maybe that could be made a little bit less less expensive for me. But at the same time, fuck it, I don't care. I'm gonna buy. I'll buy oh, copies for everybody. Oh, uh, there's different yeah. modes I think for the pistol too. We'll talk a bit about that uh, more about that later when we actually start playing Astro Loco. Shit, that gets inaccurate. Ourselves. Can you not uh, take crosshairs? No, that, but it goes really slow. Is the problem? It's like, oh, there's no fucking way I'm dealing with that shit. And it doesn't even take the crosshair properly, right? It's yeah, I was, yeah uh, it's not iron sight. Sorry, that's this is a game that you gotta that that you gotta play for yourself, and you gotta discover the secrets. They're inside that thing. Uh, I Until think the shotgun stuck. is probably the better way to go for these guys because you could just spam He's it like you were before. The ammo, I assume. Yeah, this is the ammo's problem. Just okay. Spam this. I mean, that those, those shotgun ammo right behind you. Those are the boxes right there. Are shotgun ammo. Fuck yeah! This holy shit. Okay, this thing is fucking finite. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I think you're getting it now. And there's yeah, there's shotgun ammo in that room. By the way, I, 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 I'm not an expert on this game myself, but I believe that glory kills should be performed when possible. Yeah, they're get your health back and stuff. And uh, later on, after you get past this tutorial bit, when you do glory kill, they will drop ammo. Or that might be a rune only. Uh, I think if you... If, don't you if you kill, if you kill with the like, chainsaw and stuff, doesn't it give you ammo and stuff? Uh, maybe that's what it is. And those blue containers rolled, that's health. Yeah. That's, okay. Yeah, I don't want to figure that, but, uh, okay. that, so that red thing shotgun ammo? Yes, all the red stuff is shotgun ammo. What's roughly the gameplay uh, running time for this? Like, for Doom? Yeah. For the story? Yeah, campaign. Uh, I would say probably like 12 hours. Nice. Maybe. Like, that's if you're taking your time, reading stuff, like I was doing. Getting into it. So after World 100%ed this game, I was the next person to play this. I didn't do that great on it. <laughs> Not nearly as good as World did. Right. Sorry, uh, are, we, are we just going to keep this going the entire time? Or are, I mean, has, has anyone not picked up on the fact that World has never played this game before in his life? Hypothetically. Do the red barrels explode? The, uh, I'm assuming the red barrels will explode, yeah. Hey, you did better that time. Yeah, I actually used some fucking tactics rather than... It's just been Then just using the quake thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> quake strats. So for those of you who, who maybe don't go all the way back with HPAW, um... Dante the Jedi reached out to me um, during our Kingdom Hearts 2 marathon that was... Um, many, many moons ago. Yeah, and, and was, it's not, it wasn't on YouTube, it wasn't on Google Video. Remember Google Video, guys? I barely do. Do, but do, you, remember, do you remember GameSpot user, Game video. Spots user videos? Yeah, yeah, that's where we started. Uh, so... We first did our, our Oblivion marathon on, on, on their user videos. I'm going to responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours. Hold on, I'm going to let this AI... Must uh, understand. Wait, is he an AI? Am I... World was for the betterment of mankind. He sounds like an AI. Yeah. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now. Yes. Also, what year is it humankind? This is 2018. <laughs> this is a... Uh, oh, late title card. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh shit! I love this little piece of music. It's good. That's why this I, is I like this. I hear this, and it's like, yeah, doom, doom, yeah. Oh, you're on the surface. Um. So yeah, but it wasn't until our is there Kingdom Hearts, our Kingdom Hearts two marathon. Uh, which, world, there are collectibles. All oh yeah, there are tons of secrets. All, and stuff. all there's like there's like collectible stuff that you can do world, and it just sort of unlocks like shit you can use for multiplayer, which fucking sucks. And, uh, like, other, like, just, like, lores, like, just collector stuff for the sake of collecting stuff. There are secrets, there's, a, like, one secret on every level that is something special. Uh, I kind of would like to show it. Um, when you get close to a world, I'm just going to point it out to you if you don't find it yourself. Or if you're going to be running past it, I'll let you know. Alrighty. Yeah, because I, I certainly think you would appreciate these. Dude. And they're, they're interactive secrets. So are there weapon upgrades in this game? There are absolutely weapon upgrades to this game. Uh, and you can, there are weapon paths. So, for instance, oh, nice. I like that. Uh, you can choose which way you can upgrade. I think eventually you'll be able to upgrade everything, as you'd expect. But Take I mean, all trees? Yeah, exactly. I th I, I, honestly, I can't really remember. It's been, it's been too long. But honestly, I really would like to return to this game, because this, this game is fucking fantastic. 
Hmm. So you got this suit on, but fire still hurts you. I don't know. Uh, does it? I guess it would. They were throwing fireballs at him, and he didn't like it. So those are like those are like. I mean, the suit's not like demon, demon fire. All demon fire, amazing. Uh, oh yeah, that's yeah, certainly hurts you. Yeah. <laughs> um, fire on the surface of Mars somehow. So yeah, like like I was saying, um, it was it was through the Kingdom Hearts Two marathon that I met Dante the Jedi. But that marathon, uh, I believe. Only Teclas, out of all the people here, was actually a part of with me. It was a uh, you guys, NW Striker and World, I don't believe wanted to touch that thing with a 10-foot pole. Uh, nope. nope. The uh, Kingdom Hearts Marathon? The Kingdom Hearts 2 Marathon, yeah. that we. Dude, uh, you were killing planned it. Planned after the... Uh... By the way, all, all of these weapons should have an alt fire. Uh, that's what he's using right now. Oh, okay, the, great. The, yep. Uh, yep. the pistol. Yep, great. So yeah, obviously World of the Charge Shot does more damage, but because you've turned crosshairs off, it's inevitably harder to use. Um, yeah, it's funny because we, we talked about uh, Dante really liking uh, the new Doom. I remember having a conversation with uh, Momf Doom, uh, sorry, Momf and uh, Dante uh, about uh, sh preference for shooters. And I remember uh, Momf was telling me that Dante hated uh, shooters like Halo. Um, yes. Uh, uh, he really liked shooters. He hated the consolification of shooters. Yeah, I didn't like Call of Duty, but I'll, I don't really mind because I fucking hate Call of Duty as well. Uh, but yeah, it was like Halo, Call of Duty, he wasn't a fan of. Uh, really liked Goldeneye for the 64, which is interesting because, I mean, it was, a, it was an interesting shooter for the time, I guess. Uh, but I guess for whatever reason he liked this more. I don't really exactly know why. Uh, it's faster. Is, it, is that what it is? Fast pace? Yeah, I... I mean, the, the shooters as they evolved on PC, Quake, and, like, when I think of fast shooters, I think of Quake. Yeah, that is yeah absolutely. nothing faster than, than Quake. Yeah. It's amazing how much the chat like, is, uh, is Unreal completely right? in, is, is like, 100% in, in agreement with all of Dante's and Jedi's views. <laughs> What's the ult shot for Shotgun? I think it's a double shot. I believe it's an Fuck. explosive shot, but that may have just been in the arcade mode that I was playing. Uh, I think it's a double shot. Could be wrong. Twice the power? I believe so. I could be wrong. Uh, it's been ages since I played this game, so. This game is 2016, you said? Uh, yeah. Okay, I think I played this game in 2017. Ah! That was a... That was a... That was a hell of a glory kill. I would certainly not play this game with a controller myself. Not in a million years. I thought the controller was pretty well streamed. I bet it is too, because I mean, this game was designed to be played on consoles and stuff, but that doesn't mean that given the option, I would ever do that. I mean, I would never play Battlefield um, with a controller either if, if I had the, ch if the, the choice. When given the choice, you would always choose keyboard and mouse though, for a shooter. Murray would like to remind us when it, it's to do with the mechanics as well. Dante hated regenerating health, two weapon limits, and games where every weapon basically acts the same. This game has none of that. Uh, I mean, it has the ability to do so, but again, that's through, that's your player's choice. So one of the things you can do in this game is that as you go, you're going to be unlocking something called runes. You'll be doing these trials, and with those runes that you collect, you can all you can you can change your style of play. So one like of the double, runes, double damage and uh, invisibility. Well, for instance, there is a rune that does re, that does regenerating health. Right? Oh, regener rune of regeneration. Yeah. Right. So again, like you can make that. that is again that's a total it's a play style it's a play style choice. So I feel like yeah that's absolutely something Dante would have respected and appreciated. Um, generally, yeah, the customization in this game is fantastic. Uh, you can choose certain weapon paths for upgrades to go down. Uh, you're not required to use one weapon for any enemy at any time. Uh, there are probably weapons that are better suited towards enemies, at least earlier on, maybe until you used to get certain up weapon upgrades or, or, for instance, maybe playing with certain runes. But, uh, yeah, I certainly feel like that level of... of like where the, where the developers are just like, okay, give the player the controller, let them decide how they want to play, I feel like Dante totally would have been on board with. Uh, are, I, are any of you guys in a position to be able to bring me the food that I did not bring into this room with me? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. <laughs> and I, I feel like I'm, I'm the most wired up of all of us. Thank you. Oh, it's a collectible. 
guessing. Uh, yeah, it sure, sure looks like it. Striker? Sorry? Collectible? Uh, yeah, that's one of them. I get the feeling this is not a game that has crouch. Uh, uh hmm. maybe you just haven't reached that part in the tutorial? I feel like, I mean, oh, I could be wrong. Is, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no prone. I can't imagine it's even No prone. prone. Really? You would imagine Doom would go prone? No, I can't imagine. Oh, you can't imagine. I was going to say, Doom, like, prone would be like the last thing I'd expect from a Doom game. There you go. A secret found. Hey, it's me. To but infinity it... and beyond. So yeah, those are those are like the collectibles. So you hit the hit the back button. Let's just take a look. Uh, okay. Well, so the collectibles are something you can look at. Yeah, and it's just these little Doom Marine things and stuff. Mayron. I am indeed connected to the Matrix. I am noticing some stutter in this gameplay, and it's bothering the hell out of me, but I'm not playing, so I'm just going to stay quiet about it from now on. Well, we'll see. Oh, I have a question for Murray, if he's still in the chat at the time. I was, I was doing some setup for and testing for today, last night. Does Astro Loco have a full screen mode or or what? Because it really should. And I feel like I'm just dumb for not finding it. But if you could clarify that for me, that'd be great. This is the Steam version, it matters. Fuck. It's not a huge deal, but like, come on. Full screen. What does Iron Sights look like? Uh, this one doesn't have it apparently. What? I think the alternate, that's the alternate shot for the pistol, because when you do this, you can hold it down and uh, charge. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. you can charge it? Yeah, you can hold and charge. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I don't have that yet. I'm like holding it. It would be, uh, it would be a lot clearer if you had a HUD or a, a crosshair. Maybe, maybe that is something you have to unlock. I don't know. It does kind of awesome. Illusion options kind of start not center. Okay. Yeah, you can, okay, you can hear the audio cue, right, World? No. Wow, okay, so I'm gonna I let the chat just live with it the first time, but I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna say this out loud the this time. This is not how you play Doom! <laughs> You see, this is why I don't play there. Because <laughs> it's expected that you just run in there like an asshole. Well, yes. Have you seen the like persona of the character that they that you are that they are trying to create here? He is a dick who doesn't give a shit about anybody else, including himself, apparently. Uh, so that is, I think, a dungeon map. Ooh. Alrighty. Very, Whoa. very Metroid feeling. Yeah. Dante was a Metroid fan, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, Metroid Prime? Yeah. Uh, like Max uh, armor. I believe there's weapons that you have to use for specific bosses. I don't bosses. think it was, like, especially, like... In Metroid? Heart. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, definitely. Close to his heart like it is to me. Stand under it. Good idea. Yeah, no, no problem, no problem, Marie. I just went, I just opened it up. It was like, there's got to be a full screen in here somewhere, right? Right? Although the discovery that there is a so you can upgrade your suit. Discovery that there is, a, or rediscovery that there is a developer, uh, developer commentary in there is. Um, it's very special at this point in time, so thank you for making that. Uh, I don't think it'll be appropriate to have it on during the, uh, the playthrough later, but uh, I'll definitely 
want to listen to that at some point. Wait, so what, wait, what, what's this token? It's what you use to upgrade your suit with. And uh, world, all the uh, those Praetor tokens, they all come from identical looking uh, dead marines. So there'll be those red, oh, guys, the red guys with the, uh, yeah. I have a feeling these guys will just continue to spawn. Maybe not. Definitely not these imps. Oh, you're still fucking alive. Good or bad? This is G-Man right there. My phone is totally out here too, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Do you want me to pass it to you? Yeah, I'm... Okay, give me a sec. Yep. I just, it's the only way I have to potentially interact with anything because I can't touch the computer. Because it is playing Doom. Bob, what kind of phone are you on right now? Uh, still a original Pixel. Ooh, I just cashed mine in. Uh, world. Yeah? Uh, that secret I was telling you about, it's around here. Did you want me to tell you where it is, or do you want to look for it? Uh, I don't know. Alright, so I have I've do, received, do I, I have an email. Do you want to tell you about it before you pass over it? Maybe. From Nick. Give him a Again, hint. I think you would, I think you'd appreciate it. It's, it's, it's super fucking discreet. It, I mean, but. How about a hint? Uh, that door that you looked at in the corner there, you can open. Uh, the one behind you. I didn't even know. Oh. Oh, yeah, so I got an email from Nick that regarding his free copy yeah. of Fez. Uh, so that is something I will I will certainly uh, respond to, probably like in the next couple days. I'm Congratulations. Not, yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not going to commit to doing any of that while the stream is ongoing, uh, and I'm not going to commit to a specific timeline. But I will be in contact with email. I promise I will follow up on that. Uh, and to anybody else who wants a free copy of Fez and or Astro Loco, uh, uh, wrong Astro idea. We'll, we'll I totally was on board with that the first time I saw that too, but no. Support the memory of hating Phil Fish by buying, by Phil having me Fish. buy a copy of Fence. Wait. Just, I'm a store. I'm a floating store. What are you buying? Mm. Is this like a permanent thing? What game is that? Uh, Resi 4. Okay, so, uh, okay, so each time you find one of these drones, you get one of these... Uh, weapon upgrades. Uh, a weapon upgrade? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I have messed around with the explosive shot in the arcade mode, so... Yeah, that was pretty good. I think I went with the charge burst the first time I played. The explosive you shot has a trajectory to it? Uh... Uh, yeah, yeah a little bit. Sort of, kind of? Hmm. Oh, that is true. Dante the Jedi did love Resident Evil as well. Especially Resident Evil... Uh, Especially four. Resident Evil 6, right? Uh, <laughs> what about the co-op 5? Uh, co-op 5 was okay. It was I, uh, fun. It was fun. I cannot was specifically remember Which one how he felt. I don't, I don't want to misrepresent how he felt about... Uh, especially five and six because those are the very divisive games when it comes to people's opinions. I don't want to get it wrong. Oh, like Fear Three. Uh, I know he. I know he. Uh, he likes. I think he. I was. Be he before you. Seven. World before you proceed. And, uh, could I show you that uh, thing, or do you want to just fuck it? Oh yeah. We'll go okay, back. so I'll, I'll just quickly get it. It's a cool little thing. Uh, hang on left if you can. Uh, uh, Jay, uh, Janos, no, you got to turn around. Janos confirms that he did love six and played and he played through the entire uh, thing in co-op. Yeah, keep, keep going that way. Yeah, uh, I go through here. Nope. There was a little fence to your left. Yeah. Right, so uh, thanks, yeah, go through there. Go uh, back. Yeah, go back to that door effectively. I'll message uh, you. After stop the, right there. Look I'll to your you right. After uh, see that little lever through the fence there? You have what? to get to that. So go. Yeah, you should be able to go through there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. So the secrets that you're looking for will always be activated yeah, like by one of these sight. levers. Oh, it's always the same. Always that a lever. Nice. That was, a, go back to that, door. that was a sound effect. That was a sound effect. 
Was that? Oh, hey. yeah. That was the sound effect, all right. Uh, so there is a classic Doom level on every single level. And it's activated by one of those levers. This is actually from? This is an actual classic Doom level, yeah. Nice. Or no, this is from Doom 2. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Doom, Doom, Doom 2. 2. There we go. So yeah, it's a, a classic. World, did you play Doom or Doom 2? Ever. Uh, I, I played the original Doom. I don't, or maybe Doom, Doom 2. I don't know. On a, on a PC? On a... Well, Doom has been imported uh, to like probably everything. Probably would so. have been yeah on a uh, PC, but maybe on Xbox too. Like I think they offered Doom as a uh, gold like arcade free with gold kind of thing. Yeah. Gold First time I ever played Doom, uh, my dad bought it for his Super Nintendo, and I remember it was like okay, like I'm gonna go through this door. You gotta look away now because then they'd like all the the pixel blood. He'd be like, okay, this violent, this game's too violent for you. And I remember, I remember like finding the copy of the game after looking around the house, oh uh, and like finding it and putting it in, and being like, "Oh, this is awesome!" And just playing it a bunch, and it was, uh, it was really sweet. Oh uh, yeah, the the original Fear is great. Fear Two is all right. I think I remember using the uh, the cheat ethic on SNS as well to use uh, to uh, do Green Blood. Fear Three is one of my favorites. Uh, I gotta I gotta go back and play that game, finish it just. For the sake of finishing it. I remember you hated it. There was one level. Which? Doom 3? Yeah. Or Fear 3? Fear 3, yeah. Uh, yeah, it got very just like, wow, this is just basically like a bad COD. Yeah, the yeah. shotgun has really good range world. At least it's got decent range. Also, Techless, uh, microphone closeness may be a bit of an issue. I know you guys are sharing. You just suggested a bit. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, is that it? Uh, that was sort of it, yeah. So when you say there's a Doom level, uh, there's So like a Doom there are better rewards as you go world. Like, for instance, this was just to show you the sake that there is a classic level kind of thing. But I believe, like, in classic Doom fashion, for instance, uh, if you remember in the first level, I don't think you're actually meant to find the shotgun, but you can, like, hit a wall that you can activate and it opens and it gives you the shotgun. Oh, yeah. Just a yeah. random Sa wall. Yeah, it's like a secret. It's just a classic Doom secret. Same kind of style in this game. So, for instance, like... You could get the minigun uh, earlier than you would normally be given it, right? If you if you find it in a secret. If you go looking, yeah. It's right. Quake, yeah. So exactly. So some of those secrets you can find in those classic Doom levels, I believe, as well. Hmm. Yeah. Is that another weapon upgrade, or is that the one you from earlier? No, it's gotta be a new one, right? Do you, ha do you have the chainsaw or any kind of we melee weapon yet? It appears no. Oh, I see. so Murray says the full classic level is now unlocked. They just insert a room into the main game. So by finding the rooms, you unlock classic levels. Hmm. Interesting. Like once you go back to like the main. The main menu, menu yeah. yeah. This is like the quietest I've ever seen Doom. Fuck, oh, you can't tell if I'm actually going forward or if I'm finding secrets. Does it, does it, does it matter? Oh, right, because you don't want to go forward. That's right. Right. I mean, does the map help at all? I mean, the, the levels are, I want to say fairly linear, but that's not really true. I mean, they, they but they're not quite open world, but they're not quite linear either. We've got secrets to find, as you said. Whoa.
Nice shot. So how many how many weapons do you have now? Do you have the, do you have the shotgun, the pistol, anything and the else? Grenades. You have graded shotgun. So. But you only have the two the two primary weapons still, huh? The one primary weapon in the. All right, that was a nice shot. Did you go with you went with the explosives then, huh? Uh yeah. Nice. That's the right call. Uh, so I should mention too, part of the incentive to find the classic levels in uh, the Doom campaign mm -hmm. is that uh, yeah you'll so when you when you do it in the, within the actual level itself you'll get it unlocks a, the level on the main menu. Do you take jump? Yeah, so world yeah you'll actually get to access the first level of original Doom two. playing uh, in Doom Two um, from the main menu, and all the enemies are exactly the same except they're the ported new versions from this game. Oh. Hmm. Because all these enemies you see are from original Doom, like imps. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh wait. So hold on. When you say it's a classic level, it's not. It's not. They didn't like put a like Doom Two in here and you just play the level. It is. <laughs> it is redone in the engine of this game. With these enemies. Uh, but it's like the old map. It's it's the old map with this engine. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Got it. So it looks like this. Uh, no, it looks like classic Doom, okay, gotcha. but it's got all it? new enemies and engine, exactly, and weapons and stuff. Fuck, why is he fucking... See, I, I sort of agree with you in this, like, I, I half agree with you in the sense that, yeah, part of this game, it's not trying to get you to boat, look her out for secrets and stuff like that. It just wants you to move from battle to battle. But to me, part of what made Doom great was that if you did look hard enough, you would find you extra would secrets, rewarded, right? You yeah. would be rewarded, absolutely. And Bethesda is usually pretty good about doing that kind of stuff. But even, even like, I back at Classic that. Doom, right? Like, you could find the minigun on the second level, right? Uh, you can find shotgun before you leave the first level. Like... And that, that made it, that gave you options as you progress through the game. So this game takes place on Mars. Uh, actually, I think this is Kansas. Okay, that I think, makes I sense. Think, I think we're in Kansas. This does, this, this does take place in the future, you said, right? Uh, yeah, this is, this, I think this would be like I mean, it, November. I guess it would have to. This would be like November, I think. Rough. <laughs> yeah. Way rougher than I was gonna do. Well, I mean, dude, this is gonna be America after the primary. <laughs> <laughs> Or Canada after the to, NAFTA. To be, to be fair, we did not no turn the trade. we did not turn the social political commentary off, so that's what we get. <laughs> I thought this game comes with social political commentary. Well, the second no, that's after really local. Does. Oh, <laughs> that's what people were saying about the uh, Doom Eternal trailer. It was glorious. It was like, huh. yeah, that's right. Uh, so, Techless, I don't actually know if you've ever heard this story. Uh, it was... You certainly weren't there. It was back when uh, Month, the World, and I were first uh, getting into streaming. This actually could have been for the Oblivion Marathon. Um, but uh, when when this all happened and, and Month informed me um, about Jed's passing, uh, one of the first memories that kind of came to my mind was the time uh, we were setting up to do a stream. I think we were going to be doing a marathon. World, you definitely remember this too. Uh, Month was talking with Jed about getting some setup ready to go. And, uh, it was definitely not Oblivion because Oblivion was the first thing we did, yeah. and then Kingdom Hearts. It could have been Shivering Isles. And I met King, and I met Jed with Kingdom Hearts. It, it, it could have been Shivering Isles then, because I think it was Oblivion oriented. Uh, In any case, um, here's a, here's an easy question to answer. That was um, Dark Health there. Possibly. Okay. I have no idea. Like I said, this is a long, yeah. long time ago. But uh, I just remember that 
it was I think Jed was he was the first person that I had actually talked to that was actually watching our content um, and helping out with it as well and uh, because he was British and I was a kid I just wanted him to say before we got going uh, good luck 007 in his fucking British accent do you, do you remember that world? I do indeed. Yeah, you remember that? It was novel for you. And it, yeah, it was absolutely it was novel. It was fantastic. And so, yeah, I was just like, hey, man, like, could you say that? And he's just like, he, like, he laughed, I think. And he's just like, okay, okay. And then, yeah, just like right before we got going, he's just and he's in his voice. Good luck, 007. Do you remember that, month? As if to be cute. I do definitely remember that. I'm just trying to I'm trying to place one marathon. It could yeah, I'm not exactly sure. But that, that was, that was I think, I, I, I honestly, my first, I, I wanna, if not I one say, of the earliest I memories I double have. double agent. A double, you know, that might have made more sense. I want to say it was it was for the Splinter Cell Double Agent Marathon. That's what that's what my gut says. Okay, because I feel I remember that moment. Maybe you were there. I then. was there for Splinter Cell, at least the first bit of it. Now this is uh, before anybody goes rushing off to trying to scrub through our videos and try to find this. I believe this is a a moment that happened outside of the recording. Yeah, this would have been this would have been audio checks, I think. In the in the unrecorded Welcome versions. To the now two hundred and twenty one accident free days. Well Except for this one. Yeah. Except for this yeah, this is all one day, guys. This is the morning shift. You found Wait, so did he wait, I'm Oh, uh, I missed some secrets. Did he miss three secrets? Or did he find three secrets? Uh I can't remember how you read that. I think he found all three, because I think if you didn't find them they would be grayed out. E so I think you did find them, but okay. I could be wrong. I'm only an E1, goddammit. Such a heavy burden. I'm such a lowly man. It changes. It'll, it like, usually it'll let you know. Like, if I think if, world, when you go into the next level, if you hit the pause button, you should be able to check how many secrets there are on the level. Looks like there was room for six right. there, maybe? Uh, yes, but that doesn't mean that there will be six on every level. Oh, I gotcha. It will grade them out. It'll, yeah, it'll be, it'll, you'll, you'll be able to see it. Uh, did Dante the Jedi have things to say about view codex compression bit rates all that back then? You know, like no, I've, I've, I, I've always, I never really had the, imp the impression of the art of war. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm, oh, I am the more picky the person about all that stuff. So I never got the impression that he was picky about any of that stuff from my point of view. So I actually kind of have no idea what you guys are talking about, how alien he was about all that stuff because I am too, and just never read to me. I just went right over my head. To your dossier. That probably is why got we got along so well. Oh, so see here, uh, world at the pause menu? Okay, see so tackles down there, exploration, so there's secrets. See how they're all grayed oh, out? Oh god, you're oh, okay, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Now, eight. no, no, you have just triggered a true memory. When it comes to anime watching and codex and getting his video pipeline going, 10-bit, uh, eight, a lot, yeah, no, 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 you're totally right. I knew 100% about that, and yes, it was, it was kind of extreme. World, don't get attached to the It was incredibly extreme. Shit. But I, I bet those videos look really good on his computer. I bet they did, if he had a good monitor. Which I'm not sure. He did eventually have a good monitor. Main power offline. All entrances not operational. Did you want the location for the classic level on this one too, or do you want to just keep on going nah, with the game? I'm just gonna play, yeah. yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool. I thought I'd just point that out the first one because it's a really easy one to spot, sort of. It's and then, easy and, to and now he knows what to look for, kind of thing. Yeah, right. sure. Yeah. Low power. You need more power. You must construct additional I was power. Just say, must construct additional power. Yeah, it's funny that there's no flashlight in this too. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, right. it's very funny. Life, dude. In Doom Three, yeah. Doom Three, yeah, bro. And you're uh, you're a big fan of Doom Three, right, World? Yeah. Did you uh, did you do that game in multiple playthroughs, or did you just? Oh play yeah, it I once? played it multiple times. Got to know that game fucking really well. What was? Always wanted to play a co-op though, which was a that game was co-op. Yes, what? but you had Wait, to have what? two discs. Oh, it was like System Link. Yeah. Wait, what? For Can Xbox. anybody in the chat confirm this? Is this true? Did this game, did Doom Three, have co-op? Yeah, dude. And it was something no, I, sorry, I never no, no, no. got to play. I'm not doubting. I'm not doubting you because I'm yeah. doubting you. I'm doubting you because that sounds insane. Yeah. 
And, it's, and, and Doom 3 being known as a scary game, I did, co-op usually destroys that. Would, uh, Hence Resident Evil would 5. It, would it be a uh, custom co a co-op campaign, or was it just the single player? It was just a single player play with two dudes. You played oh, in, the, awesome. in the standard game. It was game. only on like Xbox? A, a dude with brown hair, and then it showed on the back of the thing a guy with blonde hair. And it's just like, that oh. was the other dude. You're, you're Leon Kennedy to my Chris Redfield. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. I, I, we definitely have some confirmation from the chat. That like I said, true. I never saw it or played played it co-op. I beat it multiple times alone, and it was fun. But I always wanted to play co-op because I fucking learned all the shit. I found like the the hidden secrets, like how to get the plasma rifle like two levels early and shit. Nice events and stuff. That's such a classic Doom trait, hey? Like getting weapons way before they just hand them. Hugely to you. rewarding, yeah. yeah. When you show up and you're just like, oh, here's the minigun, but I've already been using it for thirty minutes. Yeah, that's right. So it's just, there's just more ammo. I believe mm. in honesty. Especially now. Hey, I was, what will be your final I was playing arcade mode and this is where world. it, it had this in it. I just walked away from her because I didn't care. The hell portal. The very character. The hell portal. It's all true. My sister Demons are real! Be thankful. You will be the first. You will have a seat alongside them, just as I will, in what will become the new world that they create for us. Starting now. Like, starting when that was recorded? Yeah, she's oh. definitely dead by now. Do you see all that blood on the console? <laughs> you know what game I'm very much looking forward to still? And the more I think about it... The more I really look forward to it. King Hearts 3? No. Especially now. Metroid Prime 4. In this world? Yeah? I want to scan stuff. The human oh, you're in a scanning mood, are you? I want to scan. Like, I'm just looking at all these screens. It's like, like this This looks... My sister's all of these panels and stuff look like they could fit very well into the Metroid Prime universe. You would have a seat for yeah, yeah. By the way, that, that that that's exactly what I did in my arcade run. I just walked away from her, and she's like getting quieter, like, oh, bye. Oh. She's on the speakerphone. No, that is not a Mako you can drive. No. Oh. <laughs> Make a Mako. Best Mass Effect game. Go. World. Uh, two. Striker. Uh, two. I didn't play three, so two. Yeah, your answer would probably still be the same. <laughs> yeah, two. The, uh, the double agent video should be around. The only videos that I am sure that have been lost is the um, Dead Rising Marathon. Is that, did he join us for part of that? Dante the Jedi? Yeah. Oh, he, ooh, he could oh, have. Oh, that's, that's but lost, I, right? That's gone completely? Yeah, it's lost. Fuck, too bad, man. It was that's the, one of the marathons I would have liked to have watched again. Really? You, we had such a pain. I know, it was such a pain, but it's just like, it was glorious. We got dude, hit by, we got, we, we, got, we got affected by the bad save system. Yeah, we did. Um, As in, you, we ended up in a situation that was impossible. I love how some of our, our some, some of the, 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 the things that we had the most trouble with end up being our most fondest memories, eh? Isn't that funny how that happens? Yeah. Uh, like the moon in Mass Effect One. Sorry. Oh my God. Murray, <laughs> Murray, there, there is only three Mass. There are only three Mass Effect games. Yeah, there's only three. Yeah, I don't know what the fucking drama is. Definitely not a Mass Effect game. Though. No one. Oh, I, I was gonna say no one said that, but you, you do have a chat over there. So how many Halo games are there? Uh. uh... There's really only two. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what? Three is like, like it's gonna break up the band, Yoko. <laughs> three is. Uh, hey, yeah. you found it! Congratulations. Congratulations. Now, three was my first Halo game, so it's like it's it's. My sisters and brothers but I also kind of feel like by playing three, I kind of played a lot of one and two. That is a lie. I played one and three. That's true. You're right. You're right. I played three, therefore I've played one and two. I, there was a lot of like similar. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's the wrapping up of those stories, so by, yes, I kind of yes. know what... Yeah. Uh, 
I really hope that Halo Infinite can be good. I also hope that Halo Infinite can be good, because I actually like Halo games. Or I did like Halo games. Until whatever 4 and 5 fucking happened. Uh, the unofficial episode of Supreme Commander. Yes, that is one of the reasons why Supreme Commander is a game in strong contention to be played as one of our final games of the day after Astro Loco. Uh, we kind of haven't decided exactly what we'll be doing after No we rush 20 Astro minutes? Loco. No rush 20 minutes? <laughs> Uh, some current plans are either Supreme Commander, Supreme Commander 2, a Planetary Annihilation, which is spiritually all in the same uh, World genre. Free Leave. Um, I or think something else back completely. in Classic Doom, this was one of the areas if you hopped up into the little ledges and crouched in there on the outside. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think you there's like an interactable wall. I could be wrong. Yeah, just try interacting with some of these walls. Oh, I want that sound effect. You know what? I can't make the sound effect. I'm gonna it's like the door effects. opening, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think, it's a very I think so. iconic. It's a very iconic sound. That wasn't it. No, I don't know what that was though. That was just like something regenerating or something. Maybe. Oh, will it, it say interact or should? No, it? no. You just keep mashing. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Oh well. Because I remember in Classic Doom, this is definitely one of the areas oh. you could interact with. Uh, one of the walls. Mm. That's it. That's the sound. Yeah, that's the sound. That's the sound I wanted. I'm happy. That is one of the best video game sounds. No, the uh, Doom 3 reloading the plasma rifle sound. Is so oh, good. that is a fucking good one. It makes one. this like... Like, I can't even... It's like this rubber, like, it's this sucking sound when it pulls the tank into the gun. It's like so cool. It was one of the reasons the plasma rifle was... There, there's, there's like a list of like best sounds in movies and in video games. And I think in my top 10, I've got that uh, save music from Metroid Prime. You know when you, you walk yeah, into a yeah. save point, the da, 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 da. yeah, I love that little bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, and then movies, obviously, uh, when Obi Wan is powering down the Death Star, okay, the track yep, the yep, yep, yep. yeah, that's a great sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely in there. Did they fail to put in the, uh, the the dying sound in the last Star Wars movie. What? Sorry, there was a Wilhelm, oh! the Wilhelm scream. Oh, the Wilhelm scream. Yeah, that's true. Wilhelm scream. It's definitely got. It must be in there. Wait, 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 sorry. Are you saying? Oh, sorry. Are we saying that it's been in every Star Wars movie except for the last one? Is yeah. that what you were? In, in the uh, that's correct. That's correct. That. Is that true? Yes, that's 100 percent correct. Oh, that's crazy. Are you sure that it's in every other film? Uh, yes, I remember reading something. And, they also and how did... sure are you that it's not in the new one? And hey, mom, if he if he, if he read it, it or... must be true. No, not solo. Just especially on the internet. Just the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Seven. You read eight, this in a eight, book or yes, the internet? Eight, yes. I read it on the internet. Well, then also, it must be true. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm looking for confirmation, but uh, also, what's the one? It's not safe to go alone, or it's no, no, that's that's uh, no. yeah, it's dangerous to go alone. That's a Zelda reference. Yeah, that's a date Zelda. Um, there's another one that they put in with BB-8 doing it. Anyway. Oh. With uh, in the opening scene. Like a, a noise, a sound effect? Or something? No, it's one line that's delivered in every movie. And BB-8 says it. BB-8 says it instead of a human, and everyone was like, "No!" But then it's obvious that it was said. In the Wait, dialogue. I'll find it out. Oh. How did? Like, is it is it only obvious by like what? Yeah, by what Poe uh, says in response. Exactly. I assume it's Poe because he's the only one who talks BB-8 in that movie. In the second. Because somehow humans speak binary. Uh, that's. Yeah, binary. I mean, that is not new. That is. I mean. Uh, Luke, Luke could always understand R2. Yeah, but is that Luke or is that the Force? Uh, I, I, I never got the feeling it was the Force. Never. Plus, no one else seems to... No, that's definitely not the Force. You can understand droid. I was going to say, I'm sure if you were like a fucking... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. technician, you could probably get to know... No, 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 we, no, 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 we, we have the... I think we have enough authority on the issue. World, you have DM'd a, a Star Wars D&D game before. Can, uh, you, can, you, can, can a non-droid know the droid language? Absolutely. Yes. There we go. It's binary, right? Easy. Yeah. yeah. Done. There you go. No, is, is, does anybody dispute that logic? Oh, I have a bad the feeling logic. about this. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad. Yeah. That's like all movies, man. Got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Boy, you've Why always not? got a bad feeling about everything. But it's usually in like... Oh, no, Obi-Wan movies. says... Yeah. Yeah. Obi-Wan says it in episode one. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, he does say it, yeah. Here and now, where it belongs. 
Nice. Don't check my browser history. <laughs> <laughs> Riker, can I just get like a, a stats thing to see if have we dropped any frames, anything looking Where bad? Where would I there? look for that? The audio looks like little bar looks fine. Chainsaw. Nice. Uh, at the bot on the, like the bottom of the window. Yeah, I see a green block. Yeah, is there anything that says like zero? Let me check. And immediately use it to fucking steal. <laughs> All the fucking lockers. Wait, do I have... Uh, we are uh, dropping zero frames. Okay. That sentence started off really bad. We are dropping... Oh, no! Zero frames. Okay. Uh, is there, like, fuel or something? What's the ammo for this? See the red bars there? Yeah. Okay, so when you interact with an enemy, it'll take away one of those bars. So right now you've got three charges with this thing. Oh, jeez. And, and but back. I believe you will kill any enemy with this thing. But how do you get ammo back? Uh, when you glory kill people, I think, or gasoline. Uh, I can't. I'm I can't sure remember. it will. I'm sure it will. Be and it's upgradable. Obvious. It's all upgradable worlds. So sure you'll get more charges. Be. I think it's a Praetor suit upgrade. You'll get more charges or some shit. Everything is new, and I don't like change. It's what you sound like, world. Oh really? <laughs> I'd like to apologize. I've been sick in the last week, and I'm just fi just finishing getting over it. But patient zero not, over here. Cough's not completely gone yet. I'm in the same boat. What are you people weak? Yep. Getting sick. Dog is the shit up there. Uh, this game uh, is privy to like, oh, come back and play again when you have the appropriate upgrade. Really? Wait, what? Yeah, oh, so for instance... Like, like, hold on, can you like New Game Plus this game? Uh, level select and such, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Um, for instance, yeah, one of the runes you can get is Double Jump. Try it. I want to I wanna see this game stop. He's saving it for something special. Talk to your supervisor to see if you meet the requirements for this year's soul. Wait, what? Soul what? Soul Calibur. I, I, I think you heard him correctly. No, I no, I literally wasn't paying enough attention. I thought he said Soul Calibur. It was Soul Harvest. Oh, soul Harvest? Soul Calibur. I was going to say, the fuck? Oh, hey. nom 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 nom. That was, uh, that was well played because you were going to die. Let's play. Thank you, uh, Duck. Says he's been watching oh, HBOS since Resident Evil 4 Marathon. What? Greetings from Finland. Greetings from Canada to Finland. Greetings, Finlandia. I sort of like your vodka. There were, yeah, I definitely noticed that. So when people were sort coming of. down for, for the international here. It's like decent dot bottom shelf. <laughs> there were definitely some people talking about bringing some, like. How the fuck do you get the chainsaw? Some, some liquor from. Uh, the, I don't know, man. How did you get it all before? From, from I, I don't know. Just, uh, like, switch to it. Try the click, click of the sticks or something. Yeah, you, I mean, or, you, you have all, you have every you'll be able to carry every gun, so you should be able to. Switch. Uh, oh, X. Okay. X, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. It's weird because if you click and hold the right bumper wheel, it'll give you a, a weapon wheel. But it's not on it, yeah. Yeah, I know it won't. Oh, be it's yet. separate. It, it's separate from the weapon wheel, yeah. What other melee weapons are there? We are all in Vancouver or close enough to Vancouver sure. that it that describes oh, wow. it well. Did you just lose like half your health by touching yeah. that? Uh, yeah. Wow. Oh no! Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> I say! Dun, 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 dun. Killed not by monsters or men, <laughs> but fucking environment. Like the Resident Evil movie. Fuck! Or <laughs> you got laser dude. Yeah. Or Mumps Crisis playthrough. Like, <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, what? I said, or Mumps Crisis playthrough. Where are the lasers in Crisis? No, not lasers, but environment. Oh, you mean like the barrels? The barrels? Yeah. Barrels. <laughs> yeah. You know. I watched a video recently. There is still, like, Crisis is still unmatched. In what? Technical amazingness. Except for the ability to die randomly due to picking up barrels. Except for that, it's still, like, that game looks phenomenal for what it is. The way the physics interact. Um, it does things that all the uh, other really? Crises afterwards still haven't been able to do or don't do. 
Um, I mean, Crisis 3 may look like a better Chainsaw. game overall in, in many ways, but... Oh, just one? Crisis 1 is a fantastic problem. So you have the chainsaw forces them to drop ammo if you can. Right. If you, if you, Jesus. Yeah. So, the, so, so yeah. I, I, and then and then you yeah. So you use the chainsaw when you're low on ammo. You use the glory kills when you're low on health. And and I believe there's a way to upgrade the chainsaw through upgrade magic where it can also drop some health. I think too, but I could be wrong about that. Crisis two and three are totally fun games. They are inferior products to Crisis one. Yeah. Except for possibly Crisis One on the, the Xbox. Like, that's what I have, and you pick up the, the you get dually pistols, and you, you can drop never it. drop them. Yes. Oh my God. Really? And they haven't fixed it. That's well, brutal. Well, why? They were never going to. Oh, so yeah. So world, when you pick up one gas tank, it refills the whole thing. All of a sudden, concerned about the environment. Yeah, <laughs> very concerned, yeah. Lesson two. Christ, it's not that Crisis only works well on very specific hardware. It's just it only works well on. Very high-end hardware <laughs> for the day. Uh, you, I think you could apply that statement today. I think only now do I have a computer that I can play Crisis One at at a quality level that at quality and performance level that is uncompromised. You mean perfect? Above 60 FPS, because I do, I play games at uh, I have a 144 hertz monitor, so I play games. I try to be. I try to get games to like the ni like 90 FPS is kind of as low as I want to go these days. But if I could be stable between 60 and 90, that I'll that I'll accept as well. It really probably just doesn't like Shadow Reaper. You, I'd be more curious about what your CPU is. The. And it's not that it was just it was Crisis One. It's not that it wasn't badly optimized. It was that it was designed be a game that would scale into the future and so it did very well um, but it was also designed with some assumptions that CPU power CPU single threaded performance was going to increase at a, at the rate that it was going at which did not happen at all we went parallel we went heavy into parallelism instead of, uh, of high single threaded performance uh, which is why it would especially not like AMD CPU I don't think it would have a no, two problem for. With, uh, <laughs> you got a two for. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it would have a problem with GP, with AMD GPUs, but I might be wrong. I don't know. They rush to tour the United States, giving out free copies of Hot Pants. Uh. <laughs> Should we do a GoFundMe, boys? Tour the states. Like, do we do we need to get do we need to talk to Bethesda to get like the license for the Hot Pants? No, <laughs> fuck no. Why? Why would we? Because I mean, because it originated playing their game. I'm just saying, if we were gonna, Hot Pants is is our property, Mom. Our IP. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Rip and tear that door. Oh God, there's a person. That's not a person. That's about as scary as this game gets. Rolled. <laughs> Destroy the gore. Is that the gore nest? That is the gore. Yeah, that is a total. Uh, you have no. You have to walk up to it and oh, do your. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and. You, you got to do your punchy fist thing, yeah. And then when you do the punchy fist thing, the, the guys spawn. and You got to fight the guys and survive the war. I mean, the demonic, the demonic presence is at unsafe levels. Can you bring those down to safer levels, world? We're gonna find out. No. So, sorry, this is the second highest difficulty level that we're playing on. Uh, technically speaking, this is the highest one he has access to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes, in overall, this is be the uh, third highest. He's doing pretty good. Because there's Nightmare, the easier Nightmare, and then there's this one. Wait, the easier Nightmare? Yeah, because the Nightmare one was the roguelike, and then there's oh, and then there's okay. the actual Nightmare, which is without the roguelike. So, so there's uh, not, uh, like Iron Man. Would be more, yeah, more, in fact, more, Iron more, Man, exactly. Yeah, or, yeah. Um, the chat corrected, on that, corrected us on that earlier. Oh, in case you were wondering, by the way, uh, Striker... Uh, Giant Palm has successfully completed their Iron Man run of um, XCOM, right? XCOM, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You told me. I think last okay. time we hung out. Yeah. 
Are they planning on doing the second one anytime soon? I don't believe so. Probably just give it a rest, eh? Probably. Chainsaw for ammo? They, they do still, they have the, the mass, they have the mass effect uh, feature going on. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a bit behind on that. Because uh, it was happening, I, I fell behind on it during TI. Really not. Uh, you got some ammo out of that world. You were down at four before. Oh, right. It just, it, it always gives you a little bit of everything for the ammo. Sample pack. Yeah, sample pack. That's a right. mingler. A, a mingler, yeah. We're going to get an ammo mingler world. Ammo cocktail. Uh, so yeah, if you do notice, there is a little bit of a lunge when you go to... If you're like looking at somebody, you yeah. will, you do a little bit of a lunge towards them. And there's a... Again, there's a rune that you could use to like work with that. Like it like, increases the lunge distance, I think. My favorite glory kills are the ones you do from like above. You like drop down onto a, onto a guy and glory kill him. Because hmm. they are all kind of contextual. So what are your what are your first thoughts about playing this game so far? Well, you've played for about an hour and a half ish right now. Mm -hmm. Opening thoughts, plays nice. Yeah, yeah, it's quick. It's quick. Oh, yeah. so, so those th those three marks, those, those three red things, are still for the chainsaw, but they just show up all the time. I guess just so you know, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. They're they're just displayed. Who is this guy? Uh, he's the zombie that's holding the yellow key oh, card. The yellow key card, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Am I supposed to know this ghoul? This ghoul fool. You're gonna be really upset when the guy comes alive at you, anyway, huh? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wait. Hold Can I upgrade on. it again? Oh no. No, but you'll get the charge burst. The thing is, if you had found the secret weapon. That would be available. What's the secret weapon? The thing is, I don't actually remember. Uh, no, I think the next one is the minigun. I could, I could be wrong. It's, dude, honestly, it's been ages since I played. So this. wait, hold on. If he picks charge burst, does that change it to charge burst instead? No, he, he'll get both. So oh. wait, so is it gonna fire? Wait, what? So is it I gonna fire it... three grenade shots? No, it'll fire three shotgun rounds. But they both have to hold yeah, they left both trigger. Have to hold tr left trigger. You'll alternate between which one you want to use. I think. Uh, I don't know if I like that. I mean, you could just. Wanna have to I mean, you're never gonna come back here again, around. right? Yeah. Yeah, you you're never gonna come back here, right? Maybe. Kind of. I don't know, maybe. We'll find out. But yeah, I don't I mean, want to have to you, fucking change it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're, you're. I think it gives you the option to actively change between I, other than so. If you, yeah. Yeah. Oh, if you have, oh, okay. Just by pressing up on the D-pad. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's just like the fucking. All right. All right. All right. The fucking. There's a change out time. There's so. the. It, this is uh, fucking uh, Doom Commando. Republic Doom Commando. Let, over let's here. just say that the uh, triple shot is gonna be shelled fucking quick. You don't like the triple shot, eh? I just, dude. I don't at, think at, at the speed of combat to have to stop and go. Oh, I'm gonna turn my gun out. Here. Uh, it's it's okay if you're running around. Like it's it's okay for like unloading into meaty targets and stuff, but for crowd control, no, it's not very great. He walked right through you. World, I, sw I thought you were just going to be like, no, I already killed that guy. I'm not going to kill him again. I'm just going to ignore him and move forward. <laughs> yeah. I refused to deal with that man. So I shot him in the head. Well, he was on the ground already. I've done my part, sir. You didn't even know that was there. Ha ha. Access granted. Can you open up? Uh, do you have to find a, I guess you have to find a map for each area. Uh, he's already found the map for this area. Okay. Can you take a look at the map for a sec? Uh, I just want to see like how how big of an area we're. So is it is it. All of the area that we can see is this level, so all that gray area as well is this level? All the gray area is areas he hasn't explored. Okay, so blue is where he's been? Blue is where he's been. Okay, these maps are... 
Yeah, they look like they're they've got a lot of evolved. So you you actually been in this elevator before, right? He's been in here. Yeah, this is part of yeah, the natural okay. progression yep, to the yep, level. Yeah, yeah. But now he's got the yellow key card. And now he's got the yellow key card. Access granted. And that was the yellow door. Oh, welcome to bonus stage. No, this is oh. an extra door. Well, that was open with the yellow key card. That was open with the yellow key card. Gotcha. Wait, no, this is this is the main area, isn't it? Is it? Because well, he's probably he's got to turn that off. No, I mean he had access. I mean, fuck, man, I don't even know. <laughs> is that chair possessed? No, it was, it was. Oh, he just bumped into it. Okay. Maybe that turned the power on. What is that? Oh, a minigun probably, I guess. Eh? Or, you know what? Maybe it is uh, like a plasma rifle or assault rifle. Like, dude, like genuinely. Or pulse rifle, maybe? So the, the, you're saying there is another gun to find on this level somewhere. Oh, yeah, definitely. So if you don't find it, do you just eventually... It'll oh, yeah, eventually we'll get you. given to you. There, there, there's another possessed object in that room. But wait, there's more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. turn to your right. Left. Oh, I can't do that. Yeah, yeah, a little more, a little more. Left, yeah, there you go. Okay, thank you. <laughs> now, barrel, barrels, don't pick it up. Don't die. Welcome to the UEC's Mars installation, located in the vast Hellas Planet Impact Basin. This high-tech mining... Ah, so this progresses to the level. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question. For who? For this game. Okay. That introduction of like, hey, welcome to this mining facility in this location of Mars. Like, do you really think you came to Mars and you didn't fucking know what was here? It's kind of a long ways to come. <laughs> it wasn't included in the pamphlet. Triple shot. I'm like, Mars you. isn't fully inhabited, right? Like, this is like a, a, a fairly isolated... <clears throat> By Mars, I mean, isolated, I'm like assuming you mean station. Kansas. In November. In November. This is Kansas in November. <laughs> I got that not, too. Not if, not if, not if we can <laughs> help it. That's right. Oh, and by Pedro. we, I mean it has kind of very little to do with it. Yes. Wait, is that a uh, suit upgrade? Suit upgrade. Okay. Pringle. So I believe you can you can access the upgrade. For the glory of the Empire. Yeah, I believe you can access it for just from the start menu. Alrighty then. Jim Carrey is uh, Doctor Robotnik. Sonic wait, movie. Wait, 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 what? Is yeah. a Sonic movie? He's Dr. Robot. Nick. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Jim I've been working on the egg pod for the last... Uh, wait, are you actually... Can you, are, you allowed to say, are you allowed to say that? Oh, it's on the internet now, so... Oh, it's, well, Tech, so it's, tech it's, is like, sure oh shit, now. wait a minute. You're right, it is. <laughs> I You're found right. It, I found it on the internet before ah, so I, I knew that So I totally did waste that goddamn someone, Okay. Yeah. Wait, what? I told. Sorry, man. I totally forgot you could get that this early. Son of a Fuck! What is this? This is the pulse rifle, I nice. Yeah. So hold on, sorry. Plasma rifle. We Plasma one. Rifle. I would just say one of one of the just channels the that is hosting us right now is Hellfire Comms, and they like the Sonic over there. They like the Sanic. Yeah. So please, oh, they're they're Sanic? Sanic. They like tell the me, Sanic. Tell me about the Sanic. Tell me. <laughs> I'm yeah. a little bit worried. Yeah. Why are you worried about the uh, Sanic? I just hope it's good. Um, so sorry. It's a live action Sonic movie. I'm, no, I'm sure that yes, it's live action. It's probably gonna look like a, like the Hulk, like that kind of animation. What? Like yeah. Sonic. Who's movie. playing and, and, Sonic? Uh, I don't know. Michael J. Fox. Michael J. <laughs> no, no they need somebody young. It'll be like Sonic's fucking like, like knee height. Right? It'll be like, like fucking yeah, like Zac Zac Efron or something. I, that's what some I was just fucking, gonna fucking say. Some Sonic asshole like that. Yeah. Some asshole like that. Yeah. Charismatic voice. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Radical. It'll be Peter Dinklage. Is there a trailer? Uh, no, no. Um. Yeah, Jim Carrey. I have, that's all I know. You're pretty good at finding these. Okay, it's a live right. action slash yeah, animation yeah. hybrid movie. Yes, that sounds about right. Yeah, because I'm like, you can't make do a live action Sonic. I assume most of it will be CG. Westworld's James Marsden will star in <laughs> Paramount's live action animation hybrid movie Sonic the Hedgehog. Right? That was my thought exactly. I'm working. Oh, no. Have you have you seen uh, season two of Westworld yet, World? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, not all of it, though. Uh, oh, is it finished now? I haven't seen any of season two. I mean, could this be any good? Uh, that looks like minigun. It could go ammo, either dude. way, man. I... Okay, see, I thought the fucking minigun was in this level. Okay, so, I mean, they have enough... I'm just saying they have enough trouble making a good Sonic video game. 
When I said I was working on Death Note, your thoughts were... Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I, did you tell me that? Uh, I believe so. Oh, unless it's just that's what this looks like. It was horrible. Well, I mean... This is, oh, sorry, this is the Netflix. No, those, uh, this is the those, Netflix one, uh, right? triple yeah. tube stack yeah. that you saw on that. That's what that was. I like. have not seen it. Not worth it. I have seen it. the Japanese live action one, and it was all right. You can't do a movie in like a fifty episode anime. What? Well, you can try. It's just not worth it. <laughs> I watched the live action. Uh, so wait, where does Ultimate? it go? Where does it go to the oh, story? Sick. Oh, Mistake. that that so so that I that. Checklist I skimmed through. It's, it's yeah. That is um, cringeworthy. It's, well, it's, you can't do it. Every yeah. episode it just is can't so be dense. done. <laughs> Every episode is so dense, and they try to make it an hour and a half long. So, speaking of which, like Todd of the Dead, I really did love his anime. Uh, he introduced me to quite a few random things. The most memorable of which, at least coming to mind right now, is an anime about a um, headless. A uh, motorcycle rider called Do Ra Ra Ra. Ra? Ra 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 Ra. I could never figure out how many Ra's there were. I think, yeah, it's like true. I've heard of it. Uh, I found out there's a, there's like a season two and three of it. I've only ever seen season one, so I should probably figure, find out more about that because that show is fucking weird. I, I need to watch it again, that's how weird it was. Yes, I need to watch the first. Yes, exactly. It had some good characters, though. Yeah, I really wish it didn't take that fucking upgrade. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's Sorry. Like, fuck. Yeah, I was, uh, dude, you'll get more. Again, like, you have the capability to upgrade everything in this game. Oh, so. shit. I'm sorry. I totally zoned out. So, this is the gun he's intended to get on the level, but he found the secret weapon. Okay, so we found two new weapons. Yeah, yes. We got yeah. This one and the plasma rifle. Sorry, and how many slots are there on that menu? It looks like there are one, two, three, Eight. four more. Yeah. And one of them's a BFG. Uh, no. BFG 9000? BFG will not be on that menu. It what? Gets, it, gets, it gets its own button. Uh, it gets its own button. It does. It gets its own button. Glorious. <laughs> uh, One Punch Man was very good. Big friendly giant. Big friendly giant. <laughs> up. Up. Way up. <laughs> One Punch Man, is that good? One yeah. Punch Man is fucking fantastic. Okay, I've heard that. Watch it, watch but I didn't it. I trust the person who said it. Oh, uh, Techless, no, you should watch it. Okay. If, if you watch other anime, you gotta watch One Punch Man. I watch maybe two a year. Yeah, I would watch One Punch Man. I, I have fallen behind on, on Attack on Titan. Oh, I'm season two down. I got it. Yeah, season three has started. Oh my god. Yeah. I think I've Wait, hold on, sorry. Have you finished season two, Techless? Yes. Okay, so yeah, there is a season three. I've seen the first two episodes. Nice. Yeah, I think I've seen the same amount as you. Um, I've maybe I might have seen episode three. It just goes so bad for the humans. Human. If licensing was better and stuff, I would love to watch some anime on the stream, but we can't do that. <laughs> I am also contemplating the fact that I still have yet to watch. Oh, you should, that's an airlock. Be careful with that. Um, I still have yet to watch the. Um, Cyberpunk 2077 48-minute demo. Likewise. So, I'm not going to rule watching that out as a group together, because I think CD Projekt Red would not do us for, 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 playing, for playing their demo. Mom, do you ever uh, do you ever watch any uh, classic That's anime right. like uh, like uh, uh, Cow uh, Cowboy Bebop? You ever watch that go. one? I knew that was going to go to Cowboy Bebop, and I that is definitely an anime I should watch, but I have not. Uh, I have not watched a lot of classic anime. I mean, I watched a bit of um, uh, Totoro. Back okay. In the day. Uh, I got I got into Cowboy Bebop through Bis. Uh, I actually watched the first episode, didn't like it. And then Bisque was like, no, dude, you got to give it a try again. And I did, and I actually fucking fell in love with it. Yeah, but, doesn't, uh, doesn't each one of those episodes kind of have its own thing going sort on? Sort of, yeah, yeah. And that, that's sort of just the style. And then there is a little bit of overarching story that you kind of get introduced to. Um, another one... Good, I, because I don't, like an, I don't like an anime that's purely without that. Um, another uh, thing I... Uh, another classic anime I really like is um, Trigun. Uh, it's only one season. Uh, I think it's like early 90s. Uh, fantastic, fantastic story. Uh, beautiful art and music. Um, I like again. It's just sort of that '90s oh, style of, of artwork. Uh, with uh, yeah, I think the main character's name is Vash the Stampede, and again, good, good anime. I think the anime that I've watched 
and understood the least was an anime called Dot Hack Sign. I watched an episode of that with you. That is a which which one? Dot so, Dot Hack. Dot Hack Sign. Okay, so uh, Project IG uh, has the Dot Hack games, and he was into those for a while. That's all I know about Dot Hack. Sorry, Project IG. Uh, Gord. Oh, is that? I don't know if we've ever had it. I think he might have no. been like the Halo tournament once. Uh, mm, yes. We did a Halo tournament, guys. Remember that? I yes, do. I do remember that. We <laughs> were. Did we? Did we control a character that was like, "Don't shoot us"? Yeah, it was. It was rough. It worked. Yeah, it sort it worked. of worked. Yeah. I mean, Blue and Joker crushed that fucking tournament, though. Right. I mean, they are MLG Pro gamers. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. Actually, I mean, I mean, so are, so are me and you. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. We've been to the. We've been. We've been to, we've been yeah. to the grand finals, man. We've been there and back again. A uh, fucking H-Pot tale by Striker and Pop. Oh, E for all. What a weird thing that was. That yeah. was a one-off, right? It was a oh, one-off. Yeah. <laughs> a one-off. So, if I ever did see one. So E3 now sells tickets that are up, that you can actually just buy a ticket. The public? the public. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, they should have been doing that from the. Uh, maybe not from the start, but. It also sounds like it's a really terrible overdue. time to go. Well, I mean, all the good stuff is behind closed doors, and everything else is behind like hours and hours of lineups. Oh, if really? If you don't have appointments and you're not pressed, like it's really not worth uh, going shit, still. Eh? Yeah, is that uh, still in uh, LA? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or yeah, it returned back there and has Same been venue? for quite some time. Yeah. yeah. Any particular anime that jumps out at you, World? Or any anime of note that you've watched? Years ago, I watched Inuyasha when they played it on one TV. Oh, you know, yeah. Yasha. yeah. Did you catch every episode? Uh, no, but I caught a whole buck ton for like months and months. I have a question for the chat. Has anybody ever watched Inuyasha in Japanese? With subtitles? So, or without, if you need to. Is you know it Japanese. like extra pervy or something? I just... No, I've just... Like, Inuyasha is just a, a, an anime that I've only ever heard about in the context of people seeing it on TV here, as in as in a dubbed form. Mm. You can do it. It's not an anime I've ever heard anybody talk about, like from a oh I love Inuyasha oh it's so good from a, and but I watched the Japanese version. I've never heard that. Mm. I just want to know if any of those people exist. I'm sure they do. They're usually Japanese, I think. Fair enough. <laughs> Huh. Most random anime I've ever watched and liked was an anime called Noeen. Hmm. I've heard of that. Story about um, quantum mechanics and and parallel worlds merging. It's a really cool story. This is a secret over there. If you can see it, you can go there. That is a lie. <laughs> ah, never again will I be fooled by such promises. I mean, <laughs> wait, what do you mean by fooled? Like, haven't they always at least been true when they say it? No. Really? No, Mass Effect was the last time oh. I ever believed anything. Wait, like... they said that in Mass Effect? Like, Mass Effect <laughs> They won? were just like, oh, there's going to be all these planets you can go to. And it's, it's like, like the, okay, Mako, you can, the Mako planets? You can go to the planets. The yes, Mako planets? there's fuck all to do there. Okay. I'm talking more about, like, um... Um... Hmm. Like, uh... Uh... Flip my mind and shit. No man, no sky. Yeah, no, oh, like man. like proper open world games, like uh, the new Zelda and um, World. Have you ever actually played that? No. Breath of the Wild. Breath of yeah, Breath of the Wild. I need to get a Wii U to, or I can see. Fucking you, but... whoa, 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 you and whoa, me whoa, both, whoa, whoa, man. Whoa, whoa, wait, what did you just say? Sorry, uh, the Switch. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, why would you wouldn't get a Wii U now? That's crazy. Yeah. Slip of the tongue. We would like to. Play. The question is the, the, the question. The question would have been: which, Do I get a switch to play this, or do I get it on a Wii U that I already own? There's no like I'm gonna buy a Wii U. For the that's that's, a, that's a crazy. That's crazy talk. Or do you emulate it? What, what Breath of the Wild? Yeah. Is it oh, a, on the on the Wii on a Wii U emulator. Yeah. Yeah, you could do that if you want to be a pirate. Well, I, I just like, R. 
The console. Uh, I'll buy the copy. Yeah. Okay. Fair. But then you gotta buy the. Uh, well, you don't have to buy the Wii U one. I mean, we're all. I mean, no matter what you do, and it, 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 at best you're in a legal gray area. Uh, this weapon's great. So no crossers? Did we turn that off at the beginning? Do you remember that? No, I mean, sorry, iron sights. Once again, so for the moment. Nope, no iron sights. No, that is literally. Iron the sights pistol. is not like a like. A, it's not a doom. Oh, thing. sorry, that was that was being world. It's just not a doom. Thing. She veers to the left a little. <laughs> I guess I, I guess at any point you're like, oh man, world taking too long to shoot this guy. No, I I saw actually when I saw this gun for the first time, I was like, man, fucking world's gonna love this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, this this seems dubious. This this this. Yeah, this what seems the fuck is this? <laughs> We've trapped the doom slayer in the cage. Turns out his weakness was looking for secrets. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> like just, Who knew? I'm thinking some like fat, lazy, old like demon guy. He's resigned to never winning. He just keeps trying. <laughs> We've trapped him back in a world called Doom 2. <laughs> Fuck. Ah, oh, I was young then. <laughs> to be yeah, a young demon to again. To be a young demon again, yeah. I don't know. If, I don't know if you were paying enough attention at the beginning of the world, but you were—you literally were like cracked out of like stone and brought back to life. Question is, who brought you back to life? Who bringeth thine? Who bringeth thine forward? Forth. Uh, suppressing fire. Oh. I think I've got a shield. Oh shit! You gonna jank you? Oh, the shield took the grenade. Oh shit! Shields break on melee? Uh, no, not always. I think he just what had that guy chainsaw? on like a, a, a gore threshold. Uh, chainsaw I think will always work. Chainsaw goes through shield? A chainsaw beat everything, I think. What's the rampage mode called again? Uh, rampage mode? Oh, the little upgrade he picked up? Yeah. Can't remember. Berserk? Berserk, Berserk. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when this game was coming out and everyone was like, ah, oh, it's going to be terrible. They didn't send out review copies. Like, what, are they, what are they trying to hide? And the answer is the multiplayer. Yep. <laughs> Except for the fact that that actually wasn't the part they were trying to hide because that part they put out in beta, I think. And everyone was like, yep, this game is shit. Multiplayer is just garbage, eh? Apparently. I actually never played it, but apparently it's, quite bad. Apparently it's really shit. Why? I'm not sure. It's just not very well designed, not well made. I believe it wasn't made in house. Holy like fuck! They, they, farmed, <laughs> they farmed the multiplayer out to a to a, to a, a second team. That was a tactical decision, my friend. Uh, and I believe the the promise is that with with uh, what what's the new one called? Eternal. Yeah. Um, that the multiplayer will be done in house. So it has a oh, potential. Oh, they contracted to be, out. Yeah, to they a contracted out the multiplayer. Yeah. yeah. So oh sad. my god. Yeah, I don't know what the decision behind that was. That's, I mean, that's, to be clear, that's a pretty common thing to do. Jesus. To have a different team work on a part of your game. Really? I mean, it, it usually doesn't work out. I'm just saying it's common. Huh. They try it. I'd like to point out that none of these gas cylinders are tied off. Like, how is it 200? Work safe days? would have a fucking field day. Yeah, I know, right? I think this guy here. Well, wait, what? Wait. I... Oh, yeah, there he is. <laughs> Little trigger happy there. Uh oh. He's got the triple shot upgrade. Oh! Triple shot upgrade, gotcha! Wait, they can have upgrades too? <laughs> no, wow. no, he's just got a faster trigger finger. <laughs> it's been a while since I died. It's been a while. Keep on the lookout for gas tanks. How many grenades do you have? Three. Trois. Wait, really? Where do you see that? 
I just see a grenade meter that's recharging. I I only had three. Yeah, I don't know. Do you just have a... Is it just a recharging grenade? No, I want to say you do actually have a finite amount of grenades. Then what's the... I'm pretty sure I've run out. I think it's a recharging grenade. Well, it's... Yeah, I feel, I feel, I feel like it'd be weird. To, is that the same guy? Did he do the same thing? That is the same guy who did the same thing, yes. Okay. Wait, so what's the what's the all fire on this gun? Uh, he hasn't unlocked anything for it yet. Oh, you actually have to unlock it for. Okay, so you go into like a bit of a slow mo when when you go into that menu. Huh? You purple, uh, you purpleize the shield. So, um, I guess the next question, next major question I have for you guys is when do we um, transition into uh, Astro Loco, the game that was made by Dante the Jedi and, and, a, and a small team that I believe also involves uh, a Murray, uh, Murray L, who's in, who's in the chat. Um, hopefully he'll be in the chat still when we go through the game, so it'll be cool to have a developer in the chat for a game we're playing. Always kind of wanted to have that experience, so that'll yeah, be, be cool. Yeah, be um, Next level? I gonna say, whenever you guys want, man. I don't know. Next level, next step? Uh, so I know I know that some of, some of you guys have, have a limited uh, amount of time with us today for the stream. Uh, more limited than others. Uh, World, I think you are possibly the most restricted. Mm. What oh. time do you have until? Uh, like, I don't know, 3 o'clock. I'm on the 3 4 range myself. Okay. okay. So another two right. hours, maybe two and a half. Of what? Of time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking uh, we'll probably wrap up Doom the next half hour then. Sure, maybe. Sure, yeah, yeah, okay. I was say, I kind of I didn't even expect to be playing this long. Uh, are we, like, well in the middle of a level at the moment? That would, if we were to say just, like, finish this level, that would make sense, or? Uh, you'd have to check the map. What's the map button? At the end? Uh, we could be at. I think we're at the end of this level. Okay. Well, yeah, let's, 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 let's get to the end. let's get to the end. No rush here. Oh yeah, wow. Okay. Some, so yeah, yeah you have uh, some, some shit I missed. You have three here. secrets to find. And, Interesting. I'm and, and, sorry, and, and and then there's also those yellow things that he seems to have some progress on. Uh, those are, I think were codex entries and stuff. Could be wrong. Yeah, on that last page there. Yeah. What did you go with there? Oh, I didn't assign anything. Yeah, I'd say this is it. What's your switch weapon speed right now? Still pretty fast. Yeah, exactly. Pretty fast. Like, oh wait, is this it. the end of the level here? I'd say so. Yeah, probably. All right, well, let's let's see where the next level takes us to begin with. We might not finish it, but oh, oh, oh! Do we find the doom? Do we find the old doom level on this? Uh, I think we, if we did. Still the second level. It's then, still yeah. the second level, yeah. Okay. It was near the beginning. Nice. That that was some some nice doom music there. I hope that music straight up like starts playing eventually in this game. It has to, right? It has to. Oh, we got some story. I think, right? It's a gift. Yes, G. No, it's you wish. Small. It will give you strength. Help you on your journey if you can withstand the power. The eye of Sauron. Sauron. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here, buddy? This is my home. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to touch the Palantir.
So the armor just allows you to carry more armor. It doesn't give you armor. Hmm. So same. Same, so it's same thing with health. Yeah, permanently increases. So this is all just about capacity. Yes. Argent being silver? Being else. demon energy. UAC members deceased. A lot of people. Percent of the facility is on lockdown. Demonic presence through the Mars installation is critical. According to the records, Dr. Hayden, the invasion originated in the Lazarus facility. It usually it does. The hell yeah. wave was activated, transforming 64% of all UAC employees into the creatures you see roaming throughout the facility. The rest were killed by the demons released from their holding cells by Olivia Pierce. Who's that crazy woman? I feel I should apologize for what's happened here. Some of my employees took things too far. Too far. Olivia was the cause of all this. And I believe you will have to deal with her in time. You may not agree with our research, but know this. We exploited hell and its resources because it was in mankind's best interest to do so. What you now see in this facility is the cost of progress. Huh. But none of that matters now. There is an emergency in the foundry. The regulators have been destroyed and the core temperatures are now destabilizing. They've overrun the adjacent facility. I fucking love if facility type games. Yeah? Yeah. Like Red Faction? Uh, like just Metroid? Just, yeah, like Metroid, uh, Doom, the later games, like Doom 3 particularly, I would say Doom 3 had a heavy effect on that for me. Like, yeah, where you're sort of in like an enclosed facility and you're having to deal with the facility, but you also have to like maintain it and shit and like, like, you have to fucking, oh, the fucking air is going to fuck up and everything's going to die, so we got to stop and deal with that. Like, yeah. I actually fucking love that type they're, of they're, shit. They're, they're, they're the, those were some of the best, uh, my favorite aspects of, of Metroid Fusion. Mm, yeah, Metroid Fusion was awesome. Yeah, dude, such a good facility. Well, Metroid is <clears throat> that type of a game. Yeah. Have you played the second installment of The Fall, Muff? No, I have not. Have you? Uh, no, I haven't. It, it's come out. I've, I've yeah, I saw, I saw a quick look at some point. So uh, I did. What is the fall? It's a facility game. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, you, uh, you basically are playing as a uh, as the AI inside of a um, some ball. kind of like huh. careful inside of a suit, and your operator has you know is unresponsive, and you're trying to you know get help for them. Hmm. Interesting. And and you have to override some of your a, you know your AI safeguards to do so. I oh so you have to work through that like run around and figure out how to do that. How to that. like break break the rules without breaking the rules. And then yeah. I believe the facility AI doesn't like you. Oh, so like the overall like master control program type thing. Yeah. It's like hey, what are you doing? You're breaking your programming. This exactly, is unacceptable. Exactly. Yeah. And you're like, yo, dude, I'm trying to save a human. And he's like, I don't care because this is what the programming says. You have that down exactly. Yeah, that, that, is, that is the gist of the, of the game, yeah. <laughs> I say it. I say it's, 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 uh, Predictable. Side-scroller, platformer, puzzle. Uh, the actual combat and stuff is... Man. Oh, yeah. It's fun. Story. Story is what's good, good about it. It's a good, like, two-hour playthrough, maybe. All right, so do we want to just take this opportunity to switch over? Yeah. That's, that's sure, let's do it. Does somebody have to use the controller? Cause I don't think so. I'm just I'll probably... sweaty. A little sweaty. Just a little bit sweaty. A little bit. <laughs> the look that Teclis is giving me. It's like sideways, like swishing his cup. <laughs> oh, snap sweaty. map. Snap map. Passed off so many times. <laughs> You're always getting world sloppy seconds, That's eh? It's like when we play, when we play party games. Like... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, party games, exactly. Yeah, like fucking... Shit, dude.